How you doing? Graham Lawler here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to the channel, what I do is home brewing. I do home brewing, uh, brew them, taste test them and review them. Today I'm doing something different and um, I'm going to show you how I get the main water onto the cooling coil which you use for cooling your work. I've had a few people asking questions. We've bought the Carl Carlson system. Uh, how do you connect it on? Well, you start off, you have your 9.5 mil fittings that come for your beer line pipe. They go on to the cooling coil. That's the cooling coil there. It's actually in a work there of an IPA I have just done. I'm just gonna show you uh, what I have here. So here I have a piece of garden hose and you have your fitting that goes onto your tap. It's standard fitting screws on. Then I have a short piece of Qualpex. I have a insert in the Qualpex, half inch Qualpex, and I have a penny valve. So I've pre-done this, that's why the nut is already on it. So you literally connect your penny valve onto the Qualpex. I'll just make sure that's nice and tight. Okay, then what I do, push the quad picks it's not easy to get on but it's good because it makes it tight fitting just rim it around a little bit and you get a force and now we have that connected so now we have this goes onto your garden tap you have your holes you have your quad picks you have your penny valve then what you have is a half inch to 9.5 mil this actually goes on to a keg coupler if you had a normal keg for a Guinness or whatever, but you can get them in any homebrew place. But that fits nicely on a penny valve. So next, you just screw that onto your penny valve. Then you have this device, okay? So yet again, you have, just if you're watching and you're wondering again what it is when going too fast, your connection to your tap, your piece of garden hose, a bit of Qualpex, or you can use a small piece of copper. Push it up into the hose. You don't even need to put anything on that to hold it it's that tight like you could use jubilee, jubilee clips on there if you wanted then you have your penny valve you could either use a lever valve which would be better but this is just something i made up out of the shed that i could show you then i have your half inch down to your 9.5 mil hose which is this pipe so that's going to go on here okay we push that on that's on nice and tight and this is following me over here sir just this will go on to your garden tap simple enough screw it on I'll just show you this working then we're going on to our 10 mil pipe that's on nice and tight 9.5 mil pipe and then you have your pipe coming out now what I try and do is I put that on there and then when I turn on the water, it's going to be really hot coming out. Over there, it's going to be hot coming out. So what I try and do is use this water now for cleaning up. But I'll just show you, that's it. You can have a longer line, you can fill basins or whatever, but it's good for cleaning the system after. So I turn on the garden tap and away we go. So there you have how I connect it. But you can see there now, look, that water is hot because it's cold water going in warm water coming out so I'll, I'll actually bring out now a fermentation bucket and i'll let that fill up while this is cooling down my ipa and then i'll have something for washing up after i transfer it into another fermentation bucket anyway if you like the video like share and subscribe and thanks for watching hope this is helpful if you guys have asked me how you connect onto the cooling coil cheers